I am absolutely loving these clips coming out of these Bill Maher podcasts where they get absolutely hammered or high off their rocker and then just start talking because the you can't hide. You can't think calculated anymore. Here's John Mellencamp saying what the most insane thing is going to be. And just, just a reminder, this Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve, by the way, uh, that you're going to hang out with family that's going to say absolutely ridiculous things. Call them out. <laughs> Don't just allow him to say it like John Mangle Camp. Here we go. We, well, we, I would uh, say well, that the, us, us white people love to have black people entertain us. I would. Uh, us white people love to have black people entertain us. It, okay, that first of all, that is just an insane comment. But <laughs> <laughs> I like how he puts a southern voice on because you know naturally everyone just goes with a southern voice when you hear when you want to say something moderately racist or racist instead again just another reminder the most racist i've lived in the deep south of south carolina and in chicago chicago is the most racist place i've ever been in my life so this idea that northerners aren't racist and southerners are is the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest lies known to mankind but this video gets even more insane wait wait for this because this is going to be your uncle or your aunt who's more educated than you or whatever i would say that the playing fields are a lot better than the cotton fields that's what I would say about that. Maybe I'm crazy, John, but it seems like making no money as a slave picking cotton was it was not as good as playing left field for the Yankees. Well, I mean, I'm sure there were, uh, you know, reasons why listen, I mean, listen, Dave no, Winfield no, has some no, beefs against no Steinbrenner, I'm no sure. No doubt there is one or two percent of black people in America who have a better life. Oh, stop. <laughs> That's what you think? One or two percent? <laughs> okay, let's say ten percent. There are people out there that actually believe this kind of crap. Just another reminder. <laughs> there are people that will just say these things. One or two percent of black people have a better life than what was under slavery. What? What? <laughs> Look, and I like this kind of like thought process because he feels like he is the most educated person in the room. And he's like, uh, these are just things that we say. Cops are hunting down black people. Climate change is an existent. Like, I, what do you want me to say? I will be your mouthpiece. Daddy, let me say it. But uh, this Christmas, when you're surrounded around your table with family and friends, remember, if your cousin or aunt or uncle or educated person with no children that has 10 cats at home starts spouting this nonsense to you, feel free to get up, look them right in the face, and then smack the <laughs> out of them. <laughs> Let them know that they're being insane. I'm it's just not, pulling a number out of my ass. It is. That, that's where it belongs. Hey, I just pull a number. Yeah, I just pull a little number out of my, my ass. ass. Yeah, I take the most... <laughs> most aggressively low number I could possibly think of pull it out of my ass and I'm just gonna say it because white people I, I love when two rich white guys start talking about how white guys have it easy you're like you do not represent all of us I know like liberals like to or leftists like to put people in groups so that we can pit each other up against each other and fight but <laughs> I don't look at these people going like those are my people these people have no idea what my life is like and they don't have any idea what your life is like. Today is word of the day is luminaria. Luminaria. And those of us that have been from the south, I've lived in the southwest. I've lived in New Mexico. Um, traditionally used in Christmas celebrations in southwest of the United States. And you get to get little bags and you put a little candle in them. I used to live in an area where you would have to do this or like it was like faux pas. And we would put hundreds of thousands of these a day. Of course, I was renting at the time. Uh, my parents were renting because they were poor. <laughs> but uh, we would have to put up all these things. And they would take forever. And I hated it. I hated it as a kid. But after it was done, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. And then people would go to your yard and stuff. But um, have a wonderful day. And today in history, the Soviet tanks roll into Afghanistan. Remember that war? No. No one teaches about that in class. Um, guys, you guys are the most amazing people on earth. I hope you enjoyed these morning sessions with me and hangout times. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve. Spend it with family and friends. Get yourself a Zima mug. Uh, because Zima should be enjoyed with by all. 
It's the only non-alcoholic beverage that you can pour your coffee into and still enjoy it to this day. Have a wonderful day. I love every single one of you guys. Make a difference in this world. And if your uncle starts saying something really stupid that the media just tells you what to say, punch him right in the face, let him know what's going on. Chinkwee.